Marley Cassius is a medical miracle. She should have died in obscurity, victim of an unknown disease. Instead, her bravery has been recognized around the world. Today, she can enjoy being a teenager and join in family life. But she is haunted by her past and facing a new ordeal. This is her story. To begin with, I'll never understand why that thing started to grow in my face. On the streets, people stared at me, pointing fingers at me. It made me shy. I couldn't go out. I couldn't go shopping with my mom. I had to stay inside. I used to ask myself, why me? My mom couldn't tell me why I had a face like that. I pleaded with her to let me hide away. A rogue gene that mutated in the womb gave Marley the disease fibrous dysplasia. She was only three years old when it started to deform her face. Fibrous dysplasia is a non-hereditary disorder that affects all the bones and causes a tumor-like lesion on the face. Its origin is unknown. It has no cure. When I was a little girl, I started feeling this thing growing in my mouth. My mom and dad couldn't understand what was happening to me. This thing was growing on both sides of my face. When I went to sleep, the thing bled all over my pillow. This is Marley. Look at me. This is the Marley with the tumor. Today, the surgeon meets up again with his long-term patient. Hi, Mommy. <laughs> Six months ago, Dr. Jesus Gomez performed the fifth procedure on Marley's face when he removed the titanium mesh in her left cheek because it had become infected. There is no normal skeleton here. Today, he describes how he will fix a new implant. This portion of the incision is going to be open. I'm going to dissect all the way down here to find the zygomatic arch. And at the same time, I have to dissect underneath here to put a plate. And this plate would anchor this implant on the face. I need to create some kind of like a forward projection to tent up the skin. Why? Pretty much to restore and make her face even. And try, you know, to create symmetry between the two eyes, the nose at the center, and the projection you know, of the cheekbones. After five operations, Marley knows that surgery on her face will continue long into the future. I'm not too scared about surgery. I've had so much. I have confidence in Dr. Gomez. He will fix my cheek, my nose, and my eyes. I love Dr. Gomez and I trust him. The latest procedure, the implant to support Marley's cheek and eye, will prove more difficult and dangerous than expected. Tomorrow, Marley will undergo the latest operation on her face. But today, she meets her surgeon in a less stressful situation, in the local park. We stop here. We watch the birds a little bit. Marley's case is the subject of continual assessment for Dr. Gomez. She's changing a lot. Our relationship is different. When she came here the first time four years ago, uh, some days I didn't know how to approach her 
Now, I don't need to approach her because that comes natural. Look at this guy. Come on, they're not gonna hurt. Sit down over there. She has been going through a lot. Even when all this improvement that we made, she's still not perfect, okay? And she goes to public places and the people, you know, just turn, you know, their heads, you know, to see her. And for a teenager, you know, even for a completely normal teenager, that's a difficult stage. Just imagine for her. You bring some bread and you put bread in your hands and they come and you just, you know. No, they don't know. They're not gonna harm you. They like bread. My goal is to have a girl that, you know, has like an acceptable face, that the diseases stop, and, you know, every single one of the vital functions that were impaired at the beginning, okay, they're back. She's not perfect. She has some malformation of some of the extremities, okay? She has some problems to walk, but her balance is better. Her coordination is better. You have to work a little bit more, you know, to stretch, you know, those arms. Because if you don't use it, you lose it, okay? <laughs> She can eat, she can breathe, she can smile, and for me, this is more than enough. You feel that you're looking good? Huh? Of course you're looking good and you're feeling good. Marley will see Dr. Gomez again, face to face, in just a few hours. Five thirty in the morning. Marley returns to the Jackson Memorial Hospital in Miami for the latest operation. She has her mother and the twins to help her and pray for her. To date, Marley's operations have cost over $400,000, much of it raised from charitable donations around the world. Marley maintains her faith in God and trust in her surgeon. But she and her family know that the risk to her life from the surgical procedures is high. Going inside the operating room. Marley's treatment has been unprecedented in surgical history. This is the moment when the simplicity of faith meets the complexity of high-tech, state-of-the-art medical science. The team slice open her face along existing scar lines. Incision. The challenge for Dr. Gomez and his team is to fit the implant into Marley's left cheek. This implant is strong enough to hold, you know, the, the, the skin and also allow us to rigidly fixate the implant to the facial skeleton by cortical screws. The eyeball will go on this area. We're, we're seeing here the eyeball. And this is, you know, the, the notch for the nasal cavity. That means that this portion is, you know, is looking towards the mouth, nasal cavity, and orbit. I cannot speak. You go, 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 The doctor fixed that side. Mali, belle, oui? You pretty. Belle. You are pretty. You are pretty. It's better. And your face will go down. So Marley is facing more operations on the long journey out of a nightmare that stretches back through years of fighting the disease. Mm -hmm. 